Hi, I'm Serge and welcome to Power Surge. This is the Autodesk Viewer. In this tutorial, I show you how to use this viewer in conjunction with the Revit's Shared Views tool, enabling you to share projects and views with collaborators for free. That's coming up straight after this. Welcome to Power Surge, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. If you are visiting today, don't forget to click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content. To launch the viewer, type viewer.autodesk.com on the browser search bar, then sign in here. This is the Autodesk Viewer. This is a free tool for those who have an Autodesk account, which is free to create. Sign in and out here. Other account information will also be listed here. Upload a Revit project file here. This dialog will report on upload progress and enable you to share a link with others in your network so that they can access the model and the views that you share. This is a list of projects and views that you own. If you are a collaborator, you can view files that have been shared with you here. Use this dashboard to manage the content that you share. This is a project model which has been uploaded for sharing. This is identified by the addition of the .rvt. To access, click on this panel. The viewer allows collaborators to view your model without needing Revit installed on their computers. This is a powerful tool. Not only can collaborators view model elements, but they can also interrogate model data. This is facilitated through the model browser. This controls visibility to all of the Revit categories used in the Revit project. Use the I button to view specific information by category or be element specific. For example, I can localize by wall category and then by wall type. Once elements have been found, they can be selected to extract data specific properties reporting on their associated parameters. Use the search function to quickly find elements within the model. Here I search for elements relating to the word cool room. Staying within the wall category, the search function has helped me find all instances of the call room wall type. To revert back to an overview of the whole model, click the home button here. Or scroll to the top of this list and click here. The model browser is very useful. It's good for auditing the model for quality control. For example, I can search the furniture category and identify any anomalies. And using the markup tools, I can call these out to other collaborators. The markup tools are very easy to use. Select a markup tool, then select the color, highlight an area in the model and click text to add a comment. To share comments and markups with collaborators, click save here. The comments tab shown here will list all comments and markups to be shared. Here you can see the markup that I just created. To turn off the comments, click on the comments tab here. This little button below the view cube contains settings pertaining to visual style, such as perspective. This can be used to optimize the first person tool. These are the navigational tools. Focus on walk and these controls down here. First, teleport to a location in the model. Point the cursor and double click. To look around, hold the left button on the mouse and then hold and drag in the direction that you want to look in. Then use some of the functions that I have already demonstrated, such as the properties tool to view element data 
and the markup tools. Here I add a dimension measuring the width of a door. Use the settings button here to change the measurement units. Add a comment to the measurement and add this to the comments list. In this example, I use the arrow function. You can add additional instruction below and post this for the collaborators to view. To go back to the 3D overview, click the home button. All saved markups and comments will be retained. To further interrogate the model, use the section tools to slice through in all 3D planes. Push and pull the arrows as shown. At any point, toggle the comments tab to view saved markups. In this side panel, you can view, share and reply to markups. To view a particular markup, simply find it in the comments panel and click on the thumbnail like this. Print and share here. Or click close markup down here to return to the comments panel. Let's have a look at another markup. Back in Revit, the Shared Views panel will report how many comments have been made. Refresh by clicking the Sync button here, and you can see that the number of comments has updated. Each of those comments are also loaded so that these are now visible in Revit. This means the Revit user can now reply to the collaborator's markups. Markups can also be checked as resolved. Once this is done, back in the viewer, the collaborators can do the same by refreshing the viewer screen. Right now, there is one resolved markup. And after the refresh, there are three resolved markups. Click here to view only the resolved markups. And here on the resolved markup is the comment that I just posted. When an element is selected, right-click on the mouse to reveal more options, like Focus, which zooms in on an object, and then use Pivot to rotate around that object like this. Or you can even hide an object if required. To unhide any objects, right-click and pick Show All Objects. Click the Home button to go back to the home screen. Below the view cube, toggle the view settings button, which I have already demonstrated, but there is a cool function that I wanted to show you. First, switch to perspective, and then at the bottom, we can explode the model. This is useful for multi-story buildings, or to view how various disciplines integrate within the building envelope. It is also possible to view orthographically this is useful when marking up elevations. The Shared Views tool is most commonly known for sharing only views. On screen, I have selected a floor plan view within my Revit project. To share, open the Shared Views tool from the Collaborate tab. On Revit LT, you can find the Shared Views tool on the Manage tab. To share a view, be sure to save beforehand. 
click the new shared views button here. Give the view an appropriate name. This is now being uploaded to your Autodesk account. Once the view is uploaded, it can be shared with collaborators. Click here to view in browser and here to copy the link. Those controls can also be found here. Share with email, Teams or any equivalent forum. Shared views or projects are typically available for 30 days. To extend, click this button here. If I open the viewer with my account and refresh, I can now see the newly created sheet shared view on the dashboard. Using the radio buttons, I can share and or delete this view. Launching the view, the model properties and the home button are all inactive. This is just a 2D view, kind of like sharing a PDF, but the markup tools are still available. Now, what usually happens is that users share the 3D view of a particular project. This gives the collaborator a little more to work with, but it should be noted that the model and properties tool still do not work. Those are only active when sharing the project file. Well, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope that you found it interesting and that you learned something new. Remember to like, comment and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.